Hi, my name is Patrick and I know nothing about car care. Welcome back to another episode of Detailing 101. Today's episode is going to be based around the maintenance wash. What is the maintenance wash, Dale? So you've put a lot of hard work into rectifying the paint yes. um, and detailing the paint and getting it all protected. We've, you've obviously put wax on the car. Yes. It, it looks fantastic. So now we want to maintain that. It's been a week since we've washed this car. Maybe for camera it's been a week. For us it's been about three. Um, this is again nice and filthy, so we're really going to go into the details about how to use a two bucket method properly because I don't know what it is, it just looks like two buckets to me. As always, make sure you subscribe to the Maguire's UK YouTube channel and let's crack on with this video. What we're really covering on here is the basics and again if, if you are well into your detailing and you know the basics of car care, maybe it's not the video for you, but if you are new to this, you're new to Meguiar's, you're new to our process and products, this can be a great introduction to our different shampoos, different processes and little things like two bucket method and grit guard. Okay, Mr. Dale, what products are we going to be using today? We're not going to be using a lot, so we're going to be using the ultimate all-wheel cleaner on your wheels and tyres. Uh, we're going to be using the ultimate wash and wax shampoo. Now, we're going to be using this because it's going to clean the car, boost glass, but also bond to your existing wax protection. This means that you're going to extend that wax protection, and every time you wash it and you're not removing it, you're just bonding to it. Nice. And before we fill up the buckets of water, just explain to me what, what actually is the two-bucket method? Like, why? Yeah, why? Why are we doing it? Yeah, why? Yeah. Two bucket method for, for someone like yourself that's never used it before. Um, we have two of our Maguire's buckets here. Each one has a great guard in it like that. Now, this bucket here is going to contain our shampoo solution. Okay. So this is going to be our soapy water. Now this bucket is going to contain just clear water. So no shampoo in that no one? No shampoo whatsoever. So the reason we do this is because every time we wash a panel, we want to wash it with uncontaminated, clean, soapy water. Okay. So when I've washed the panel, I'm going to put my wash mitt into this water bucket. I'm going to rub it on the grit guard, and that's going to remove any contaminants that are bonded to the wash mitt. Right. I'm going to rinse it out, and then I'm going to go back into my fresh, soapy water. So you're not bringing the dirt from that bucket exactly back that. into the actual bucket. Exactly. Yeah. The dirt it. from the car is now going back into the soapy solution. Gotcha. In the simplest form, if you were using one bucket, every time you wash a panel, and go back into your soapy water, that soapy water is getting dirtier. Yeah. So as you go around the car, the water is getting more contaminated and you're actually going to be using that on the car. Right. Now we're not saying that you have to use two buckets. Now if you use one bucket with a grit guard, that's fine. Um, it's not doing the same as a two bucket, but it is going to reduce the amount of contaminants that are going right. to swell back into the water. Good question. In okay. terms of knowing which bucket is which, so one's washing, one's yep. not washing, they're both going to look the same look, over a similar sort yeah, of time. Yeah, but halfway around the car, your clear solution is going to start looking a bit soapy. So my go-to, if you don't have stickers to put on your bucket to say wash or rinse, yep. just put cold water in your clear bucket, but warm to hot water in your soapy water, that way you know which one's which. Nice, good job. So, I am going to put my so far experience into test. Ultimate all-wheel cleaner. Now, from my previous videos you'll know that you need to spray this onto a dry wheel so in order for this kind of gel based product to cling to the wheel you need it to be nice and dry um, probably best not put on a straight after a drive because your wheels and uh, brakes and stuff will be hot but after you let the car cool down for a bit spray this on from bottom to the top on a dry wheel now we go from bottom to the top am I correct in saying this so that when Mind the product is. runs down it connects to more product is that right exactly that. bottom to the top left and right that way as it runs it interacts with more product right and just a kind of Get it on the tyre as well. That looks pretty covered. Now obviously my wheels are pretty grey, so you're not going to see a massive coloration, colour difference um, for the purple, um, but you definitely see it on the brakes and stuff, which is awesome to see. 
right, let's carry on. So you can see in there that all the red dye is going off on the brakes and you can kind of see it on the wheel as well. So that's a good job. So is there a technique to actually spraying the wheel itself as well? So <clears throat> what I like to do is kind of keep it at a nice kind of 45 degree angle uh, when I'm doing the kind of fascias and inside the spoke. But when I'm doing the more intricate parts, like uh, kind of up here and round the lug nuts kind of thing, yeah. I kind of reduce the water that's coming out. Okay. So I don't want to pelt it with too much water. Yeah. Um, that's not a written, you must do it like that, that's just how I like to do it. Cool. These marbles aren't actually that dirty in terms of how long it's been since I last cleaned them, so... Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> pH balanced product as well. Oh, there's a bit of knowledge there for you, I've learned that. Um, and science. That, science. Roughly speaking, how much do you actually need to put in? Per bucket of water, you're talking about four capfuls. Okay. Which is an ounce. We have a lot of calls about this. We have hidden the instructions on all of our products. But if you look here, we've got a little arrow. Pull away the tab, you've got all the instructions. This is the same for all of our products. You can find everything you need on the back of the product. Just look at the left hand side or the right hand side, you'll have a peel away tab, and if you ever need the instructions, they're right there. Amazing. So, four capfuls, um, I guess you just eyeball it, right? Because Yeah, I've been doing it far too long. Um, like I say, probably put a bit too much in because I like the smell and it suds up really well. Yep. Um, but like I say, you get a lot of washes out of that one bottle, yeah. so don't don't feel worried if you don't think you put enough in. But four capfuls an ounce is about what you need. So as part of this maintenance wash, we're also going to be using the heavy duty multi-purpose cleaner for all the lower sections of the car. Um, this is basically going to degrease kind of some of the dirt and hard stuff on the bottom of the car. So when we come to actually washing it with the wash mitt, we're not pushing around that dirt and stuff. You don't need me anymore. Hey. That was pretty slick. Thanks. That was pretty slick. I mean, it was all wrong, but pretty slick. Now, I, truth be told, mm -hmm. this hasn't been properly washed in three weeks. What you can clearly see is the fact that this car has protection on it. Now this car's got ultimate wax on it and it's got the hybrid ceramic, yep. but you can clearly see that it's still doing that work. You can see that it's repelling the water and uh, it's going to make the cleaning easy. You can see how all this has been easily removed. Yep. Um, it just means that you know, when, when we're washing it now, we know that we're doing the best for it and it's got the best protection. Perfect. <clears throat> Warm soapy water, wet panel, we're ready to go. Now, sometimes people ask, should I start at the bottom, should I start at the top? We'd always advise starting at the top of the car. So we're going to grab this bucket, nice and soapy. Like I say the surface is well lubricated, we've jet washed it off. So, let's walk you through how to use the rinse bucket. So soapy bucket's here, I'm going to rub it on the grip guard. Now the fins in the grip guard, when this water swills up, are going to stop that from going up into the water. So that creates a vacuum type thing. Exactly that. Nice and rinsed. Cleaned off. You see, it's a nice clean mitt. Back into the warm soapy water. Then we've got fresh mitt ready for the next section. Oh, very simple. It's easy as that.
actually it's not a very hard method at all. It's nice warm water, so I know which one's the wash bucket, and nice cold water uh, for the rinse bucket. It actually makes washing a bit simpler, I guess. Yeah. But I feel like I'm getting a cleaner wash almost. Yeah, and that's because you, uh, you are being a bit more clinical about the way you're doing this, but yeah. we're not over complicating it. Yeah. This is supposed to be accessible detailing. You know, th this is showing you the easiest way to get the most out of our products is the best way of describing this series, I believe. Perfect. <laughs> So now I'm going to try and explain how to apply the ceramic wax to a car that's already got protection. So, like we said earlier, the wash and wax gives you a layer of protection and bonds to any previous wax that you've currently got on the car. Um, obviously I washed it a fair few weeks ago um, with ceramic and ultimate, and ultimate wash and wax. Um, so it has got the layer of protection. Now this already gives you as much protection as a one of our top waxes. Yes, yeah, so like ultimate paste wax, it will give you the same amount of protection as an ultimate paste wax. Now. We've, I know you've reapplied this a few weeks ago. Yep. Um, but you know, there's nothing to stop you putting another layer on for a bit of extra protection. Absolutely not, especially not for this video as well. Exactly. The right. more I get to use this, the better, because then my car stays clean for a while longer. Um, so, the application method: the car is already wet. The car already has protection on it. It's as simple as spray on. Right? Where's my camera? Oh, it's there. You're holding it. I'm in the jet wash. <laughs> So we're not doing the drying application on this. No. Because we've already done that base layer, right? We've already done the base layer, we've already got a layer of protection on, we've washed the car. To reapply the ceramic wax is as simple as this. Spray on. Rinse off. It's as easy as that. Then it's just to dry the car as normal. So you can see, let's pretend it's raining. It's given the car an instant layer of protection and massively water beating. I'm absolutely in love with this stuff. It's so good. Hybrid Ceramic 101. Hybrid Ceramic 101. <coughs> so just to, uh, just to kind of recap, yep. if you've already got a layer of hybrid, hybrid ceramic on the car, yep. when you come to next uh, apply it, as Patrick says, just spray and rinse. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. <laughs> My favourite part, the drying. Oh yeah, fold once, get 90 towels. It's your favourite part. You laugh. No, we don't laugh. You laugh, you mock this. We do mock, but it's true. But does it not help? It does, correct. Now, this is my personal preference to drying the car. There's a million ways to dry a car. You can pat it down and lift, or you can put it down and drag. My favourite is to fold it up <laughs> and then just gently wipe. It, it does get the best out of the towel, I have to say. And the good thing is, I can unfold fold it. Look, I've got a fresh towel for the new bit. Oh yeah. Now, if there's a little bit of haze, that's fine. It's gonna flash off anyway. So don't worry about keep wiping the car down. Just nice, clean wipe, and just let it flash off. That way you're gonna get a streak-free finish because you're not overworking the surface. So what's the crack with glass, Dale? So glass is like you mentioned earlier, using less product really is more. Okay. So I'm gonna be using our ultra soft finishing towel. Yep. And our pure clarity glass cleaner. Okay. Now, a lot of the time people tell us that they're constantly chasing streaks when it comes to glass. Yep. It may be because it's a bit over application, so we're gonna show you how little you need on the glass. That's it. Oh, I didn't even zoom before you'd done it. I'm gonna wipe one way and flip the towel and buff the other way. 
That way we're not gonna get any streaks. Okay, so final step, I guess. Final step, tires. Now, before taking, before applying any tire dressing, you wanna make sure that the tire is completely clean and bone dry. So we have cleaned them, we've degreased them, but you can see there's still a bit of water residue on here. Now we wanted to remove that to, be, to let the endurance tire gel cling to the tire and give it that longevity and gloss. Now this is a great way of reducing tire sling as well. If you've ever applied a tire gel, driven your car down the road and it's sprayed up the side of the car, it's because the surface wasn't properly prepped. So you need to completely clean it and then make sure it's bone dry before applying your tire gel. So using the Endurance, just the strip of product, right? Yeah. And on the tire. Now, if you're like me and like a clean but satin finish, one application of this product is fine, but if you want that real high gloss finish, then do all your tires, leave them for five or 10 minutes and then reapply the product. So I like it to look nice and clean and satin, but if you want a gloss, you can reapply. So that's actually, that's it basically. Um, if you cut out all the filming parts, mm -hmm. the two bucket method and the maintenance wash isn't very long. <laughs> not at all, not at all. So we wanted to show you how to, I mean, you've put so much hard work into this car so far. Yeah. We wanted to show you how to maintain that. Yeah. And in, but introducing a little bit of, bit more detailing to you. Okay. So going from the one bucket method that we used with the Wash Plus. Yep. And steadily grinding on to the two bucket with grit guards. Yeah. So just to recap what we've done today is, two bucket method, we use two buckets, two grit guards, two microfiber wash mitts, the ultimate wash and wax, the heavy duty multi-purpose cleaner, and the hybrid ceramic wax, and the ultimate all wheel cleaner, probably not all in that order. Glass cleaner and endurance tire gel. Glass cleaner and endurance tire gel. So we're steadily using more products, but we're showing you the easiest way to get the best out of them. Absolutely. Like I said in previous videos, all the information you need to all the products will be linked down below. If you need any more technical advice or anything like that, then please contact us via the contact us page on our website or through the social media platforms that we have, so Instagram and Facebook. Cracking, well done. Cracking, thanks very much, Mark. Yeah, it's all right, mate. I'm enjoying it, it's good. What's next? Interior, that's what's next. I don't do interiors. Okay. As always, make sure you're part of the Maguire's UK YouTube channel, and we shall see you in the next episode of Detailing 101. Not a complicated, but a different way of cleaning the car. Did you tell her to do that? This is unbelievable. <laughs> Oh, it's you again, is it? <laughs> the horn beeper, now you're on camera. What do you got there, monster munch? <laughs> Can you help me put it on? <laughs> they didn't teach me this at detailing school. <laughs> big fluffy supreme drying towel. Big fluffy supreme shine drying towel. The big fluffy supreme drying towel. <laughs> it's the big, the big supreme drying towel. The big fluffy supreme drying towel. Okay. That's what it is.